crowd was chanting defense, and the girls in the Class S championship must have heard them, as the Wildcats of Old Lyme led the Patriots of Coventry 6-3 after the first quarter. In the second quarter, it seemed like more shots were getting blocked than were reaching the hoop, as both teams had field goal percentages under 25% for the game. After Coventry tied the score in the third quarter, Old Lyme's Margaret Douglas scored two of her game-high 13, despite being fouled, followed by Elise Beaupre's runner on the fast break to put the Wildcats up 21-17. We all knew how it felt when we lost, the last game of the season, and then at Shorelines, and I knew even when they started to inch back, I knew that we were going to pull through it. In the fourth, Douglas blocks a shot by Michelle Carilli, and then hits a three at the other end to put her team up by six. The Wildcats stretch the lead to 15, winning by a final score of 39-24. With the state title secured, head coach Don Bugby was already looking ahead to next year. I'll probably go to work tomorrow anyways and make out a practice plan. And I'll just have to change the date till next November, that's all. In the Girls Class M Championship, Top Seed Bacon trailed Berlin for most of the game. With seven minutes remaining, a steal by Alexis Vasquez and the finish by Kim Rasmussen put the Redcoats up by eight. But Bacon's Katie Mahoney single-handedly took over the game. Slashing between four defenders, she cut the lead to seven with 6-11 to go. Well, we couldn't, we couldn't ever give up. We, this was like not an option. We really, really wanted to win this so much for everyone. Mahoney's jumper with 5-13 remaining cut the lead to five. The drive with 4-13 to go cut the lead to three. The three-pointer with 3.28 on the clock cut the lead to one. And her free throws at 3.09 gave Bacon their first lead since early in the second quarter. With 20 seconds left and Bacon leading by three, Velasquez hits a three from way beyond the arc to tie the score at 53, driving the Redcoat fans crazy. After a timeout, Bacon senior Brooke Bailey looks towards Mahoney, but then takes the ball herself, nailing a jumper with four seconds left. It's either going to be me or Katie, whoever got the ball in their hands. It just happened to be me. Burns' final heave falls short, and Bacon is crowned Class M champions by a score of 55-53.